Hey guys, welcome to the Houston Kilby YouTube channel. All right guys, here we go. So uh, this weekend I'm still kind of hurting there where I pulled that muscle. So uh, I wanted to get back underneath the car and work on the, the floorboards, but uh, we're just gonna stay up here and work up top for a little bit until I get wrist way healed up. But I need to trim out this valence back here. And as you can see, we're hitting right there. And this intake has got to come back for a pretty good bit there before it clears. So what we're gonna do is I've marked on both sides a mark right here I wanted it even on each side where it gets cut at and uh, that way it looks even on each ends but uh, we're gonna cut that get that trimmed up so we can push the intake back uh, we'll probably put the boost pipe and stuff back on get all that connected back up show you guys that uh, wrap up on some other small little things up front here and just keep on the moving but uh, again I wanted to get underneath there and I might start back on it tomorrow but uh, just I'm still hurting a little bit and I don't want to push that muscle too far, but uh, we're going to keep on cutting and keep on working here, but uh, let's get after it. assemble get stuff back together and then uh, start moving from there but uh, we are rocking in a roll all right guys we are about to clean some welds up so we can finish some welding there on the radiator supports and a bunch of brackets there but I just wanted to show you guys something that I found out here but uh, these little wire wheels they come in like 
a couple different colors, but um, I've kind of learned from Blaine there, but these things, the silver looking ones, they really work really well for cleaning welds and uh, cleaning rust and, and just nasty stuff off to weld up. That there's another colored one that's gold that I haven't been able to work too well for me, but these colored ones work good. But I use this and also use these right here. They work pretty good. You can just put them in a drill, clean up your welding area that you need to clean up, wipe it off with acetone, and you're ready to weld up. But uh, it's a neat little trick, and I thought it worked really well, and I thought I'd tell you guys about that. But enough of that. Let's clean these welds up and start doing some TIG work. So we pretty much got the metal cleaned up on these and you can kind of see there where the wire brush cleaned that up really nice and then uh, we also went back and uh, you know used the wire brush and the acetone and it just it turned out pretty nice so that stuff is looking good and uh, it's ready to take up the rest of the way now and uh, it'll turn out pretty nice rock and roll this piece all welded up 
got all cleaned up and stuff. Clears the intake now. Uh, we got all of our radio supports and stuff all bolted back in. Everything's all welded up on those. And uh, it's coming together pretty nice. Getting ready to have to take the top of the intake off and uh, take the boost pipe back off and uh, set the hood on it. And see how all that's going to start mocking up there. But uh, we are rocking and rolling. Alright guys, check this out man, uh, it is Saturday morning, uh, we pretty much stayed up all night there Friday until about 5.30 in the morning and uh, got this thing cut out, I mean check it out, uh, Dylan Woodfin and uh, Jesse Gardner, man those guys, they stayed up all night with me and helped me out, we literally took this hood off over 50 sometimes, just to, you could only cut a little section and then put it back on, measure everything, double check, uh, check your measurements so on and so forth so many times I was literally running out of Memory to get all that in so we had to kind of stop some filming and Quick that up a little bit there cut and clip on the footage there to make that work, but here it is It is on there. It's mounted and yes, it does hinge so you can Hinge the hood up and BAM check that thing out everything is just looking really really nice and really, really clean uh, this took a, it I think we had it was several hours let's put it that way I mean 5 30 this morning we we put a fork in it but uh, turned out really nice uh, we've got a few more pieces I'm getting ready to make here today um, right here on the grills here you can see there's like a big gap right here uh, these cars actually originally had a support piece right here I hope you guys can see it there it went from here and it tied in to like the original radiator support so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some uh, chrome molly tubing just some real small stuff and it's gonna kind of come down in through here and tie into one of these bars down here and uh, it, what it's gonna do is it just pushes all this up that's a one piece sheet metal grill insert there and uh, I think it's what you call it grill insert or grill header panel or something like that but uh, anyways that piece has like a lot of stress in it and it you have to have it bolted up in several areas to keep it straight and keep it looking good but uh, anyways we're gonna make that also want to show you guys how many pieces we cut out of that hood there and also there's my original drawing of the car and I got really close on the hood what I was thinking it was gonna kind of look the the actual hood has more of an angle right here and you can see it there where 
it slopes down but i think it turned out really nice i'm really really happy with that really really happy with that i mean that was a lot of work it took a lot of time right there to get all those cuts really smooth there's still going to be some fine tuning i'm going to do in there uh, just to get everything so there's no there's going to be no rubbing on the hood there's still some really close tight spots they'll need to be all blended in and get a good gap around everything so we don't have no problems and also uh, my dad had brought it up uh, we're going to give us give ourselves some more clearance just to be really safe around the uh, throttle body here i don't want to take a chance on the throttle body hitting on anything there's a good amount of clearance in there but just to be safe we're going to give it some extra in case if uh, something ever happens we don't want to get it hung up on there and go wide open that'd be bad anyways uh show you some pieces we cut out there and as my buddy dylan says we turned a 500 hundred dollar hood into a 200 hundred dollar hood real quick but uh there's a lot of stuff and about each cut there that was every time the hood came off there was one cut happening so there's a bunch of pieces a bunch a bunch of pieces but it turned out really good really happy with it uh, we're gonna keep on rolling here get a couple more pieces made and keep on a rocking <laughs> 